Hey gang, Trevor Beck here. Today I want to talk to you about a function called import HTML and a command called filtered views. Now import HTML does exactly what it sounds like. It takes content from a web page somewhere else and brings it into the spreadsheet as if it was actual data. Here I'm looking at a program listing for a university and off to the right they have the status here of open and close. But you can kind of see that it's kind of hard to see where the closed ones are versus the open ones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this information and I'm going to bring it into my spreadsheet. To do that, I'm going to use the import HTML function. Now there are three parts of the function. There's a URL, obviously the page. There's the query and there's the index. Let's start off with the URL. It should be noted that you need to have the URL in quotation marks. Now the next part is the query. There's two choices of the query. It's either a table or it's a list. What they're looking for is on the web page, is your information in a table format or a list format? In this case, we're looking at a table format. Because there can be more than one table on it, it needs to know which table we're talking about. And that's what the index re represents. Whether it's the first table, second table, third table, you would put that number in. Now we have all the content imported into our sheet. The beauty of this is that when I open up the spreadsheet, if there's any changes on the HTML page, they will be reflected on this page here. The next thing we want to look at is filtered views. Before I do anything, I'm going to highlight the information that I want to filter on, which in this case, of course, is the status. I'll go over and turn on our filter list. You'll see that there's an arrow pops up to the right there of this column. Clicking on it will show you all the information contained in that column as choices. I'm going to clear them all and just select open. Now we can see that all the files here or all the listings here are open listings. What I'm going to do now because I may come back and refer to this is I'm going to save this view. I'm going to turn this off now and I'm going to take a look at closed. And I'm going to save a view for that as well. So that's it. You can see how you can bring your content in from another page using the import HTML and then you can filter that information.